Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the house. Yes, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're going to be talking about somebody you already know. You already seen her. She's going from classy to trashy in one whole day. Okay? And I'm just saying, happy, happy, happy. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever you are looking at this video. Okay? Because it is a family thing. But we're going to be talking about Portia Williams Gavadio, or however she shows herself. And she's going to be dressed real well, real respectable, and just uh, just looking very nice, nicely. And then in that same turn of events, she's going to turn around and be like a pussycat doll. Okay? And y'all going to understand as you keep seeing the videos uh, go across your screen because my house is your house, your house is my house, and we do love the furry friends or f- family members, I should call them. And you know, we got to get out this disclaimer stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we only here just to critique, make comments, speculation, no allegations because we don't want no litigations. <laughs> but yes, okay, we got to have that. Or scrolling across the screen, you know what I'm saying? That's for argument's sake. And um, we mostly go into Portia because I didn't get where they were going with the pictures that I saw on her reels that she was showing us. But evidently they were, from what I gather, and the bits and pieces I could put together. Yes, subscribe. Thank you for watching. And please like the video. Okay, but um, they were dressed up in a white and orange garments. Uh, to his native land, and she, you know, was dressed to the T, very nice. They both complimented each other, and, you know, I don't give compliments to them, too, so they must have been doing it on fine, but I think they were going to a morning celebration for his mother that died, I think, last year sometime, or the top of the year, and um, they're celebrating her afterlife, I guess. I have no idea, but they were cute, cute couple. Um... And that is the uh, channel, my other channel I need y'all to go and uh, subscribe to. But this is the back of the dress that Portia is wearing. And um, if you, I guess you can go over to her Instagram account and then y'all can see exactly what they were celebrating. Well, it says celebrating the life of his mom, rest in peace. So maybe they did something here in Atlanta as a tribute to her. But we're going to go on and get to that uh, Andy Cohen thing, what she did on Watch What Happens Live. Okay? And we're going to try to play some audio of it if it actually let me. Okay? While we're going through the, this video. But um, let me see. Cynthia Robinson wrote up this article. And she titled it, Portia Williams Stones in a Curvy Hugging Sheer Black Cat Soup. See her jaw dropping look. Okay, now she's over there. Uh, watch what happens live with Andy Cohen, and pretty much she's just trying to feel her way back in because she was on Ultimate Girls Trip, and ain't nobody over there. At Peacock, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna tell you. I sure didn't go over there. She ain't on, you know, Bravo's channel. I ain't got nothing. And then I don't be want to go on Bravo's channel. I just be want to get the clips and give me some commentary off of it because I ain't been to sit no whole hour. To look at nothing. And the only thing they're giving us. Is maybe 10 minutes of real drama. No. I can just watch it. You know. Playback. Replay. And then I get my little bits and pieces. Of how and what I want to do with it. But we go on um, to the write up. They wrote on Miss Portia Williams. Uh, they said she is no stranger to a sexy sheer look. 
Back in January, the Real Housewives of Atlanta Ultimate Girls Trip Season 3 cast member took to Instagram to share photos, okay, from her recent Mata honeymoon with her husband, Simon Cabadia, where she rocked a bright red maxi dress with sheer panels. Portia completed her look with the gold cuff, gold hoop earrings, and long wavy locks, noting how in love she is with her bow, okay? I'm like, girl, let me tell you something now. How you got them, how you going to lose them? Because Fallon is not married or living, how whatever situation she had, they're not together now. Now, who's to say that your man you call him, which was her man when she was on the show, won't be looking at her, won't be looking at pictures of her? You see what I'm saying? Because you might lose them, Portia. You just might lose them. Okay, we're going back to the article. It says, more recently, Portia stopped by the clubhouse for an appearance on Watch What Happens Fly with Andy Cohen, stunning and possibly one of her sexiest looks yet. She looked like a hoe, y'all, but y'all will y'all gonna see it in a few minutes. And then gonna have the nerve to wear a cross. Oh, talking about she love Jesus with the cross. Nah, baby, that, that's chaos. That whole outfit says the devil. But anyway... Uh, going back, it says the pursuit of Portia Arthur posing a jaw dropping sheer black cat suit with a corset bodysuit by Dolce and Gabbana times Kim Kardashian, pairing a head to toe black style with a sparkling crystal mesh statement choker with a cross $1,945 from the design house. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum also accessorized with strappy black heels with black ribbon and crystal embellishments, topping it off with long white. Nails, gorgeous, smoky glam, and a short Josephine Baker style 20 hairdo by D'Angelo uh, White Glenn. Now, I'm, I'm like, boys, you know, ain't nobody, you ain't buy that cross, especially when it's costing almost $2,000. You ain't buy you just loan it, girl. They just loan it to you. And you know, you took it back. You know, you took it back. But, honey. That's total blasphemy is what you got on and what you're doing and then on sport uh, uh, a collar for Christ. Girl, you need to get out of here with that mess. I told you to be messing. I can't never, ever, 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 ever give her a nice compliment. Okay, we can never do that with her. But y'all are going to show and see what I'm talking about. But we're going to go into what Andy Cohen is uh saying on his watch what happens live while Portia's there in that godforsaken outfit. But she's supposed to be representing her husband, her marriage, and their culture. And she's going to have a nerve. And what is, y'all going to see it when it come up, okay? And then we'll have a conversation about it. But let's go see what Andy Cohen had to say when Portia appeared on his show looking like a hoe, okay? But when it comes to the Atlanta Housewives, Portia and the press doesn't need a copy of their book in order to read them. So, tonight we are playing Pick Your Peach. Portia, I'm going to pair up to you okay. and former Atlanta Housewives creature. To my 40 questions, you have to answer by choosing between the two. Who's shadier, Kenya or Marlo? Um, Kenya. Who is more worldwide, Candy or Cynthia? Ooh, okay, I would say, depending on what block of yearage. Um, it would be either or. Like, okay, for Cynthia, back when she was a model, all day. Okay, what about okay. today? Yeah. Today, 2023. Today, candy. Okay, uh, who would you rather see back on the show, Phaedra or Kim Zolciak? Phaedra. Okay, uh, who's delivered more iconic quotes in her run, Kenya or Sheree? I don't know, neither one of them. Okay. Sheree, I will check your boo. I will check your boo. Okay, yes. it's who gonna check your yes. boo. Yes. Yes. I, I will check your boo. Uh, which newer wife do you like more, Drew or Sonia? You know, I, I don't know Sonia too much. Met her one time, pleasant, but Drew. Okay. Uh, who has better looks, uh, Cynthia or Eva? Ooh, I, ooh, that's a tough one because Eva can dress and so can Cynthia. I would say Cynthia. Um, in your opinion, which one season wife had more potential, Kim Fields or Claudia Jordan? Well, Kim didn't really want to film with us, so I had to say Claudia. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm out. She showed up to that reunion, though. She did. She did. Was she late? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Okay. So she's uh, who would you rather go into business with, Sheree or Candy? Candy. Yes. Okay. Candy money yes. making birds. Yes. Okay. Now who you see what she got on. Friend of Tanya or Shamia. 
Oh, Shamia, all oh, day. Oh, wow, I thought you were Tanya with Tanya buddy. Are you crazy? Shamia's my best friend. Oh, right, what am I saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, whose televised what? wedding did you think was classier, Candy or Kim Zolcia? Mine, if you would have filmed it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Portia. Okay, so we can see Portia was throwing some major shade showing up looking like a hoe, looking like she's coming out one of those um those big cakes that men used to have at bachelor's parties or a big cake, but it wasn't really a cake, it was just like a little formation of a cake, and then they would pop out and say, I'm here to entertain you. You know what I'm saying? They'd be doing lap dances and all that kind of stuff. Now tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. How can you call yourself a woman of God, you're married, and you're trying to set the right example for your kids when you're being exposed to the outside world, the media? Is that the proper outfit to wear to the clubhouse? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, she was there for an entrance, of course. I'm sure they had lights, camera, action on her. But why would you stick so low? When you would just, I just show you all how she looks. Beautiful, right? Unmatched. But then she show out and get into her, I guess, alter ego and come with that outfit just to go to watch what happens live. Now, even Giselle wasn't that trashy. You know what I'm saying? She had a little cover up. And the bottom, they were covered up as well. But Porsche just looked like she just, I don't know, just threw herself out of a cape, half naked, and trying to charm someone. I, I don't know what Portia was thinking. And I, I have to say she wasn't thinking, as usual. Just like, I guess she's going to catch the choo-choo train once she go on down to the Underground Railroad that she thought had a train down now, okay? I mean, I'd be wanting to ride for Portia sometimes, but Portia just dingy. She just don't care. You know, it's just like, I don't think about it. And, you know, then she wants to come back on the Bravo platform. Because she was shady to Ann, just saying, you know, you should have had me. No, no, mm -mm. You didn't want to show anything about Simon. And that's what they need. So if she does come back, not for this season, but the following season, they gonna want to see her and Simon, and they want to know some things. Cause like I said, you never know how uh, Fallon might be creeping these days. Mhm. Mm Cause how you got Simon Father Time is surely how you can lose some girlfriend. Surely <clears throat> how you can you lose him. Cause that was just like mm, Fallon. They didn't want each other no more, and they don't have a little baby. That was weird. I didn't really talk too much about it because uh, hmm, I wasn't really interested in it. But only place, I, I, I don't know. I just don't see why Portia would dress like this going out. So that means she got a little devil in her. Because ain't no sanctified woman. Hey, hell, ain't no, if you don't even believe in religion, ain't no woman that got some business by herself that's a business woman going to dress like that. And she ain't even in the music industry to be showing herself like that. Hell, I she ain't in the porn industry. Because that get up is like, okay, I want to take you to the next room and we can go, you know, we can have at it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, ooh, child. Portia ain't got no sense. None. I mean, even her daughter don't want to even film with her. I was going to do that video on her. But I'm like, oh, I ain't going to do baby PJ like that. I ain't going to do baby PJ. And I hope she takes a lot after her dad, then her mom. Because who in their right mind? You see how Giselle dressed? She's covered. And it's cute. I don't too much like I think she should have had a coat with it. But what is Portia got on? What kind of costume does this child have on? She's giving me Madonna tees back in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? That's what she's giving me. She's giving me prostitution, slut, whore. Is what she's giving me. And Giselle is older than her. And she, she found a way to look sexy. Younger than what she needed to look, I guess. And still have some, 
what do you call it? Um, decency about herself when she goes out because she has girls. Now, do you think Giselle would have been able to come out that house with her three girls looking at her like, where you going? And yeah, you need to take that outfit off, or you need to wear it, or you need to put it into some, you know, a, a suitcase or a luggage, uh, you know, a luggage tote. And when you get there, wherever you're trying to go, change. But don't go out, don't go out them doors, don't go out this door looking like a hoe. And I'm pretty sure they had that conversation with their mama, but their mama was in her little leather, and she probably had a coat with it. But she looks fantastic. But Portia, on the other hand, what do y'all think she look like? Y'all tell me. Get down in the comments. Is this someone you want to see on your television screen? Is this from someone you want to see come back to Bravo and act all crazy? I mean, you remember the situation with Bolo? I think that was his name. The private dancer that they had got for Cynthia. Because she was uh, trying to marry um, Mike Hill. And we see how that we see how that looked and went, right? But this is the same skimpy crap that um Portia pulls. And I'm like, your husband should be embarrassed that you would take the time to get an outfit like that. And then you talk about you going somewhere? That shows me a father time don't have no respect for you. Father time lets you go out and look like a fool, a hoe. And it makes him look bad, but I guess he don't care because uh, maybe y'all aren't telling us something. Like, maybe y'all are really not married. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Because he wants to uh, start him. And you want to start him. <sighs> but fam, as usual. As usual. Like the video. Comment. Subscribe. I ain't got nothing else for this video. So that means I got to go. All right. So remember to go to this channel, sign up, and subscribe, and I'll see you next